This video is a part of a video series with three videos. In this video, we're going to learn about some of the most important red and white wine bottles out there in the market today. These bottles are called the Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace bottles. Here we're going to look at three things. Number one, we're going to look at each bottle individually. Two, why they're designed the way they are. And number three, some of the wines that traditionally fill them. In a separate video, we'll take a closer look at other wine bottles, which would include Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Provence bottles. In yet another video, we'll take a quick look at all seven of the most popular bottles. We'll find out why they're made and named the way they are, plus we'll look at the actual anatomy of all wine bottles. By the end of the series, you're not only going to know more about wine bottles, you're going to find out about some of the beautifully delicious wines that go into each of those bottles. I'm almost certain some of these wines many of you have never heard of. My hope is you'll begin to branch out and try many of them over time. As we get into the different types and shapes of bottles, it's important to note that different shapes will stack in wine racks a little bit differently. This means you'll need to know the different types of wine racks to use or to buy, so that, that way your wine bottles don't fall out or slide out of the wine racks. You'll get a better idea of what I mean by this as you see and think about the different bottle shapes. Actually, you might want to make note of that video. Types of wine racks. Generally, the names of many wine bottles come from various French wine regions because France is where many wine and wine bottles found their origin. While there are hundreds, even thousands of different bottle shapes, most winemakers choose to go with one of the big three. That's where we'll be spending the next few minutes. The big three are Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace, or also known as the Moselle bottle. Wine bottles, here we go. The first bottle is the Burgundy bottle. We'll start with the Burgundy bottle because that's the first place in France where a bottle became standardized about 300 years ago. This bottle features gently sloping shoulders and a slightly wider body than the rest of the wine bottles. These are called low shoulders. Originally green, now this comes in a variety of colors. You'll find both red and white wines in this particular bottle. The low shoulders exist simply because 300 years ago the design was easier for glassmakers to create. For 300 years the red grape in Burgundy was and still is the Pinot Noir. The white grape is Chardonnay. By the way, did you hear that little trick of the trade to take the mystery out of French wines? 90 to 95 percent of the time you see a red wine from Burgundy, it's a Pinot Noir and a white wine from Burgundy is a Chardonnay. As these two popular grapes spread across the world, so did the Burgundy bottle. Nowadays, most red wines with a flavor profile similar to Pinot Noir, which is light, bright, and complex, uses this style of bottle. Examples of other reds are Pinot Noir, Gamay, Nibbiolo, Syrah, Grenache, and one of my personal favorites, Blanc Francish. Examples of white are Chardonnay, Puy Fousse, Chablis, Sancerre, and Viognier. The second is the Bordeaux bottle. This bottle is straight and tall in structure. What sets the Bordeaux bottle apart from the Burgundy bottle is the bottle's distinctive shoulders. They have high shoulders. The shoulders were created for a reason. They were created in order to catch sediment as you slowly poured your wine into your glass. See, sediment is caught right here. The Bordeaux bottle is the most used bottle among winemakers in the world today. The two most popular red wines in the world are Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. They're bottled in the Bordeaux bottle. Other red grapes are Malbec, Meritage, Zinfandel, Italian Reds, and Super Tuscans. As far as white wines, you have Sauvignon Blanc, Chenin Blanc, Simeon, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, Bordeaux Blends, and, and hundreds of others. The third of the big three is the Alsatian bottle. It's also known as the Moselle bottle. This bottle came into existence shortly after the Bordeaux bottle. It's taller and thinner than 
the other bottles with gently sloping shoulders and a long neck. It's more delicate than the Burgundy or Bordeaux bottle counterparts. It was originally created to be thin for transporting and storing Riesling wines as the wines were being taken down the Rhine River in France. The bottles needed to be slender in order to fit as many bottles as possible in the hull of the small river ships. Other wines using this bottle are the Gewürztraminer and very frequently sweet wines and, and rosés. Those were the big three. We'll be touching on four other important bottles in this video series. Check out the video wine bottles, Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Provence bottles. Oh, also, there's that other video I mentioned earlier, Types of Wine Racks. It may prove to be helpful to you also. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about the big three wine bottles, the Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace bottles, and the wines that go in them. Use it to your advantage and let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for new videos that come out every single week and give it a like if you liked it. If there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. And most importantly, ring the bell to be notified when I post other videos. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. I look forward to you joining me on Facebook at Asti Wine Consultants, Instagram at Asti Wine Consultants. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for some wonderful wines, check out my website, www.astywines.com. <music>